If you're looking for an HTPC and a NAS, then this could be the next single box for you. This is the HS251 Plus from QNAP, and it's pretty awesome. Stick around to find out more. Check out our website at techteamgb.co.uk for more info on both this and many other products, and also up-to-date news on all things tech. Stick around for this awesome video. So as I said, this is the QNAP HS251 Plus. Now, it has a brushed aluminium top plate and glossy plastic all around, which is actually quite a big problem because it's very easy to get dirty, but uh, this thing definitely belongs in your living room with its awesome styling. Now, to get the drive or the drive sleds, because this does come empty as standard, you pull off the front cover, which is magnetically held on, and then you can push the sort of, well, push button to uh, pull out the drive sleds. Now, they come with all the screws in the box to be able to screw the drives in. I've got two 4 terabyte HGST drives, um, but to install the drives, you just, uh, once you put the four screws in, drop the drives in the front um, or push them in and uh, make sure that these you know lock in place and then drop the front cover back on and you're good to go um, you do also get a uh, green LED in the center of the sort of front panel uh, to tell you that it's on but other than that it is as it says silent which is awesome um, in fact I genuinely didn't know that it was still on when I pulled the power plug at one point which I felt quite bad about but um, hey anyway in terms of sizing it's around about 30 centimeters by about 22 centimeters by about 41 uh, 40 centimeter uh, 4 centimeters sorry um, so it's really not a standard NAS form factor which is pretty cool I mean the rear IO is a power button two USB 3 ports an HDMI port for your sort of HDMI PC kind of usage. Kensington lock, dual gigabit ethernet which is awesome for this form factor, two USB 3 ports, a reset pin and the DCN from the relatively small power adapter which again is pretty cool. Now, uh, by the way, just what you get in the box is uh, just kind of the, the IR remote as well as two gigabit or two ethernet cables, which are relatively short, but still uh, all right, I guess. You've got the power brick and the sort of uh, wall cable and a sort of quick installation guide, as well as all the screws that you need to uh, put the drives in. So there's a lot of things that this NAS kind of does that you wouldn't really necessarily expect it to do. I mean, first of all, I would uh, kind of not really put a NAS in my living room, but this one is definitely designed to sit there with the kind of general uh, online and web browser sort of experience being just like every other NAS I've used except for occasionally you know think a couple of bits and pieces like video transcoding um, aren't really there and you know things like because of the specs of this which is I believe dual core and uh, one or two gigabytes of RAM depending on the model um, you know you're not going to have the fastest experience and things like compression but it still is a perfectly usable NAS but the cool thing is that if you download the hybrid desk station you're able to basically basically use this like a full PC um give or take. I think it runs Linux with uh, you know, a few different bits and pieces kind of missing, but uh, you can run Chrome, you can run Firefox, you can run LibreOffice, um, and you can run Kodi as well, or XBMC. So it's quite nice for kind of an HTPC usage. Now obviously it doesn't allow you to do things like Steam and home streaming for example, which is definitely a nice thing, but if you are looking for an ass and you want to be able to, you know, play all the, the music and uh, movies you have stored on the NAS on your TV very easily without having to, you know, uh, use a Chrome cast or an Apple TV then this is definitely a pretty awesome option so uh, yeah style is something this NAS definitely has and I really do like the look of it the main thing for me is that you have to clean it every five minutes which is quite annoying um, also because this strikes a balance between HTPC and uh, kind of well NAS uh, I'd really like to see Wi-Fi as just an optional or even just an option to be able to use because a lot of people don't have Ethernet by their TVs and they have to use kind of like Ethernet to Wi-Fi adapter type things which often are kind of dodgy and don't work. But um, I'd, I'd quite like to see that just as an option. But otherwise, the IO is pretty great with Joe Gaby Ethernet, which uh, generally speaking is either going to be the hard drives or the Ethernet that are the kind of main throughput issue or the bottleneck. Um, you know, if you're using two SSDs in there, then it would probably be the, eth uh, the Ethernet ports that are the, the, the bottleneck. But um, anyway, it is a relatively fast NAS. Um, just something to note on the hardware because it's, I believe, dual core and a one or two gig of RAM. Um, you're looking at when it's kind of doing the HTPC side of things. Or, or media center side of things um, it, it can be a little bit slow and a little bit kind of like uh, when you're typing for example um, you might get a bit of text delay or just general key press delay so just bear that in mind that it isn't the fastest thing in the world but it's certainly still quite cool 
Other than that, in terms of scoring, it's going to get a 4 for 5 money. It certainly provides a lot of features for your money, which is really awesome. And with a silent aesthetic, it's pretty cool too. In terms of performance, it's going to be a 4 because it does do a lot of things very well, but it can be a little bit slow sometimes. In terms of functionality, it's going to be a 5 pretty much. I mean, I'd like to see Wi-Fi, but again, that's mostly just um, kind of user usability type stuff, so not really an issue. And in terms of uh, style, it's going to be a 5, but with a little side note of uh, I wish it wasn't glossy because I don't, I wouldn't have to clean it for every 5 minutes. And the overall Touch and BB score is going to get a 4. If you're looking for a NAS and also want an HTPC, this is definitely worth your money, hence the, the awards. Um, but uh, yeah, I guess that's probably it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Feel free to like or dislike and let me know what you thought in the comments down below. Would you buy one of these or if you were given one would you you know use that as it's sort of intended to be used? Let me know in the comments down below too. And other than that, check out some of our videos. Check out YoYo Tech if you want to buy any PC hardware. Feel free to please click on the link and just check out what they have. Um, and uh, yeah, other than that, uh, Facebook and Twitter for all the updates. I've got a, a quick question for some peeps on Facebook and Twitter so uh, feel free to hit that up. Other than that, uh, thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next video.